Hello everyone, this is Ram Prasad Venukopal from Informatica. The video is about stage load jobs and their log analysis in MDM. The agenda of the video is stage job overview, stage job log entries, load job overview, load job log entries, followed by a demo. Stage job overview. A stage job is executed to push records from landing table to staging table. The source and target columns are linked through mappings. Cleanse function can be utilized in mappings to standardize the incoming data that is very much helpful for match and merge process. To execute a stage job, navigate to Hub Console, Utilities, Batch Viewer, followed by Stage. An entry with the error message is inserted into Stage Reject Supporting table when a record is rejected during the stage job. Stage job log entries are as follows. In Hub Server logs, you can find the start and end batch job timing. In process server logs, you can find start cleanse request arrives at the process server. Delta detection settings were printed. Temporary PRL table created. Delta table created. Empty CL table created. Cleanse writer writes cleanse data into the .temp cleanse file under hub cleanse temp folder. Finally, insert into the staging table from CL table. Load job overview. A load job is executed to push records from staging table to base object tables. Lookup checks can be configured at this phase. To execute a load job, navigate to Hub Console, Utilities, Batch Viewer, Load. Similar to stage job, an entry with the error message is inserted into the stage rejecting support table when a record is rejected during load job. Load job log entries are as follows. In Hub Server logs, you can find start and end of the batch job. In Process Server logs, you can find information on staging table and block size. Batch controller class prints the number of threads and blocks to process. Block size and number of threads are based on properties CMX Server Batch Load Block Size and CMX Server Batch Thread Per Job from CMX Server Properties files. Load worker task initialize and processing of task in each block. Data loading and BVT calculation happens. Now let's dive into the demo part. To execute the stage and load job, navigate to Hub Console, Utilities, Batch Viewer. Here this has been grouped by procedure type for our convenience. Let's expand a stage job and try to execute it. To execute the stage job, you have to click the execute batch button. This will move records from landing table to the staging table. The status is successful here. To execute a load job, the method is similar. Expand the load job, click on it and press the execute batch button. The status is successful here. To view the stage load job execution log entries, navigate to your hub console installation directory, hub, server, logs and you can find the cmx server log file. Similarly, for process server logs, we need to go to hub, cleanse, logs, cmx server log file. So when you open the log file, you can see all the entries related to the job we ran recently. Now I have copied the stage and load job log entries here separately with breakdowns. So it would be easier for us to go over it. Uh, let us concentrate only on process server logs. Once a stage job is executed, you can see the start cleanse request arrives at the process server. After that, the delta detection settings were printed and will look similar to this. Next, a temporary PRL table is created, followed by creation of delta table. You could see the create table statements at the log file. Next, an empty CL table is created. Once it is done,
cleanse writer write cleanse data in the dot temp clean file under hub cleanse temp folder the empty cleanse table will also get populated at this step finally records are inserted into the staging table from the landing table now that we have seen all the steps that are being performed when a stage job is executed it will be easier in debugging in case of any performance issue or error we can find and which step the actual issue lies and come to a solution based on that let's see the same behind scene execution steps for a load job first information on staging table and block size is printed number of threads and blocks to process is printed load worker task is initialized and details on processing of task in each block is printed after that data loading including the bvt calculation happens if you face any error during stage job and load job execution the error messages are printed in both hub and process server logs i have collected a sample error message each for stage and load job we have to check both hub and process server to debug this is a sample stage job error a stage job error has occurred here with error code sip09069 fail to execute java null the cause is no cleanse match server available for match in batch mode as per the cause we have to check if the process servers are added and available to execute the batch jobs similarly i have collected a load job error here error code is same sip09069 fail to execute java null and the cause of the issue is the process server does not have sufficient capacity we can take this error message to the informatica knowledge base site and we can find kbs there to fix these errors we would love to hear from you on support videos at informatica.com and twitter.com/infosupport thank you